elo baratata kamjirtu yero darbe kessa qormata baraku mala ma fi kudja a debi gafi tokko hanga gafi jata matti kanjuru yero adda adda to jedde gaddi sunko ni yadatama kanaf baratoni isan inarganne gafi tokko hanga jata ma ji ola 17 tv kessa ilalu dan akka qayyabatan isin afera ramo jata mi tokko qabe hanga torbata matti kanjuru walin hojjenna kanaf jola 17 tv hordo fudan qayyabna kessan cimsun hoji kessan idile akkatu isen affair ndemna chu tamaryo salam nachu balachu bete geta salam ibzalachu kazim befit betela yayu gize be 2016 yewata entrance exam tiyaqiyochin betela yayu gize ka tiyaqe kotor and iska 60 dras yallutin sariche malqaqe yitawosal menalbat inezin tiyaqiyochi yalagenyachu inezin tiyaqiyochi yalagenyachu tamaryoch እና የጂኦ ለሰን 17 በተሰቦች ጂኦ ለሰን 17 ቲዩብ ጋር ገብታችሁ ሰርች በማድረግ እንድትጣጠኑ እና ለፈተናችሁ ዝግጅታችሁን ወደ መከለስ እንድትሄዱ ከወዲው ጋብዛችኋለሁ Choose the correct answer from the given alternatives Question number 61 Which one of the following is a good opportunity for the development of African continent the availability of a abundant natural resource b foreign aid and the loan c political stability d skilled labor force question number 62 which one shows the agricultural population of africa a it is mainly carried out through irrigation system b it is dominated by the production of commercial crops c The continent produces large amounts of temperate zone crops. D. Africa is rich in tropical crops dominated in world markets. In Africa, a good opportunity for the development of the African continent is the availability of abundant natural resources. A is the correct answer. Why? C. B. and D are not the answer. Let's discuss it. Africa is rich in natural resources such as minerals, oil, fertile soil, and water bodies, which can boost for economic growth if properly managed. But B is not the correct answer for Africa's opportunity to develop. Why? Foreign aid and loans can provide temporary relief but they often come with conditions that may not always favor long term development many african countries have fallen into debt traps due to the excessive borrowing so this should not the correct answer c is not why political stability is a condition which is used for the economic development of africa but it is not a resource d is not many african countries still face challenges in education and skill development which make this option less significant compared to abundant natural resources the correct answer for question number 62 is Africa is rich in tropical crops dominated in world market. This indicates the agricultural population of Africa. So, D is the correct answer. Why A, B, and C are not the answer? Let's discuss at a well manner. Africa is rich in tropical crop dominated because Africa is known for the producing tropical crops like coffee, cacao, and the tea, which are in high demand in global markets. But A is not, because it says mainly carried out through irrigation system. Most African agriculture depends on rain rather than irrigation. A is not the answer. B is not also. 
African agriculture is dominated by subsistence farming? C is not the answer. Why? It says the continent produces large amounts of temperate zone crops, it says. But African climate is mainly tropical, not temperate. So temperate crops are less common in Africa. As a result, as I have said, D is the correct answer. Question number 63. Which statement relates to theories on population growth and development? A. Marcusians believe that population growth causes technological development. B. Easter Bosra believes that there is a strong linkage between poverty and the population growth. C. New Maltesians assert that socio-economic problems are solved by, the, by reducing birth rate. D. Maltesian theory stresses that food production exceeds population growth. Here, Maltesians assert socio-economic problems are solved by reducing birth rates. New Maltesians argue that High population growth leads to resource depletion and economic strain. So, controlling birth rates is necessary for development, according to the Neo Maltesians. While Marcusians believe that population growth causes technological development. Marcus's theory does not directly claim this, rather, it focuses on class struggles. Marxist theory does not directly claim population growth causes technological development. It says socialism should take place and capitalism can be removed. B. Sterbosre believes that there is a strong linkage between poverty and the population growth. No. Bosre actually argues that Population growth stimulates technological advancements in agriculture. So B is not the correct. A is even not the correct. Again, D is not correct. Why? Maltesian theory argues that shortages. But Maltesian theory stresses food production exceeds population. No. Maltesian argues that Food is shorter than population growth, so shortage becomes appear. As a result, the correct answer for question number 63 is neo maltesians assert that socio-economic problems are solved by reducing birth rates. C is the correct answer. Question number 64. Which statement is correct about population growth control practices? A. Kenya encourages a national family planning policy. B. Most African countries have one-child policy. C. China supports women to have large families. D. India ratified a child tax policy. Question number 65. Which one of the following is an indicator of social development? A. Infant mortality rates. B. Literacy rates. C. Per capita income. D. Gross domestic product. Question number 66. What is the effect of rapid population growth on socio-economic progress of developing countries? A. Incidence of widespread food insecurity. B. Abundance of life-sustaining goods. C. Expansion of economic choices. D. Formation of a healthy environment. Here, the correct answer for question number 64 is Kenya encourages national family planning policy. Like many African countries, Kenya has introduced family planning policies to control rapid population growth. This is the correct answer but b c and d are not the correct why b says that most african countries have one child policy no this is china's policy 
So B is false. China had a one-child policy, but African countries have no such rule. C says that China supports women to have large families. No. China previously restricted births and only recently relaxed its policies. D says that India ratified a child tax policy. No. India has family planning programs, but no tax policy penalizing child bearing. So the correct answer is A. The correct answer for question number 65 is that infant mortality rate is an indicator of social development. A is the correct answer. How? Let's discuss it. Social development is measured by healthy and well-being indicators such as infant mortality rate, which reflects healthy care quality and the living conditions. Maternal mortality rates and these others. But B, C, D are not the correct because B focuses literacy rate focuses more on one entity of indicator education rather than overall social development. So is not per capita income more of an economic indicator rather than social development. Gross domestic product measures economic output, not directly social well-being. So A is the correct answer. An incidence of widespread food insecurity is the effect of rapid population growth on socio-economic progress of developing countries. But C, B, and the D are not the answer. Why? Because high population growth leads to increased demand for food, which can cause shortage and food insecurity. This increases incidence of widespread for food insecurity. B says that abundance of life-sustaining goods. This is false because Rapid population growth often results in scarcity rather than abundance. C says that expansion of economic choices. No, economic opportunities may shrink due to overpopulation. D states formation of a healthy environment. No, overpopulation often leads to environmental degradation. So, a is the correct answer. Question number 67. According to the behavioral approach, which one is the cause of poverty? A. Nonviolent dispute resolution. B. Weakness to change the sense of inability. C. Rational attitude towards wealthy. D. Good performance in the work plan. Question number 68. Globalization contributes to the economic development of developing countries mainly through A. Investing on poverty reduction. B. Extracting raw materials. C. Creating high tax ratios. D. Providing loans. According to the stress of behavioral approach, Weakness to change the sense of inability is the cause for poverty. This approach suggests that poverty is linked to psychological factors such as lack of motivation or inability to adapt to changing conditions. While A, C, and the D are not the answer. A says that nonviolent dispute resolution not related to poverty directly. C. Rational attitude toward this wealth, it says. This does not explain poverty, but it explains financial management. D says that good performance in the work plan. This helps to reduce poverty, not causing a poverty. So, B is the correct answer. Investing on poverty reduction 
is the contribution of globalization to the economic development of developing countries. Foreign investments, technology transfer, and aid programs help to reduce poverty and boost economic development. But B, C, and D are not the answer. Why? B says that extracting raw materials, this often exploits developing countries' natural resources rather than aiding them. C says that creating high tax ratios. High tax ratios can hinder the development of developing countries. D says that providing loans. Loans can increase debts rather than directly support development. For this reason, A is the correct answer. Question number 69. Trade imbalance occurs in developing countries when A. A country has industries owned by foreigners. B. A country borrows money to import goods for its population. C. The value of goods of a country's export is higher than its import. D. The amount of import item is less than that of export item. Question number 17. What is the type of corruption committed by a public official to make decision by receiving money? A. Bribery. B. Theft. C. Stealing. D. Burglary. A country borrows money to import goods for its population is going to create trade imbalance in developing countries. But A, C, and D are not the answer. Why? Here, in developing countries, relying on borrowing to afford importers lead to trade deficit. While A and C as well as D are not the answer. Why? A says that a country has industries owned by foreigners. Foreign ownership may impact trade, but does not directly cause an imbalance. C. The value of goods of a country's export is higher than its import, it says. This is actually creating a trade surplus, not trade imbalance. D. The amount of import item is less than that of export item, it says. This also leads to a trade surplus, not an imbalance. So, B is the correct answer. Bribery is the type of corruption which is committed by a public official to make decisions by receiving money. A is the correct answer, but B, C, and D are not. Why? Because bribery is when an official accepts money or favors in exchange for making a particular decision. Theft is a general stealing, not necessarily linked to decision making. Stealing is similar to theft, not necessarily related to official corruption. Burglary is Breaking into property to steal and related to corruption. Chanali ke san geolesan 17 tube wanda watanif galatoma. Geolesan 17 tube chanala chun sila gobenya chu amasag ganala. Geolesan 17 tube chanali milkomine egeret alotaf im.